Hi there, it's Kurt with Kurt Tanner Motor Cars. Today we have an offer this 1967 Triumph TR4A convertible. It's a, I believe it's a solid axle car. It's finished in its original color of British racing green with black interior. It's fitted with a really pretty set of 60 spoke chrome wire wheels and a nice tire set. Um, we purchased this car, I believe, from Florida, but before then it lived in the um, the Vermont, Massachusetts area. And, um, you know, not a bad driving car. I just took this for a drive and uh, mechanically very good. It does need a set of shocks. It was just bouncing me all over the place. But, uh, you know, really healthy engine, good gearbox, clutch, brakes, um, steering, not a bad little driver overall. So you can get in this car, it's turnkey, it's running and driving. It's uh, finished in fantastic colors. Probably the best color scheme for these TR4s is this color right here. And this is the original factory color combo. Maybe, a, maybe an original wire wheel car as well. Um, you know, being from the East Coast, it's not the most rust-free car we've seen. It does, uh, it has some spectacular still photos in our booth. But, you know, upon close inspection, you can start seeing some flaws. So I'll go panel by panel here. Um, there's a little ding here that needs to be pushed out. Um, rear fenders look good. Trunk lid looks really good. Now, this is a problem area on these cars. So this is starting to show a little, little bit of bubbling, little bit of, uh, you can see here as well in the paintwork, just a little bit of... Uh, corrosion starting underneath there but this tonneau panel area looks pretty nice so so that's not too bad being an east coast car let's go down the right side here um, now we're starting to see a little bit of blistering here and that's a very typical spot I mean the rest of the panels are really tidy um, now down low we're starting to see a, a little bit of corrosion a um, little bit of repair back here but the rest of the rocker looks pretty decent, seeing a little bubble there and there. Um, front fenders look pretty clean. Hood looks quite nice. Grill is lovely on the car. Front bumper had a little owie in the middle there, so that needs to be, uh, that needs to be straightened and re-chromed. When we get round to this left fender here, we're starting to see some paint kind of pop, uh, peel and pop off here. And it's probably because of this chrome strip here. There's a couple uh, rivets that are drilled in here to secure this little uh, finisher strip. And over time, that paint has kind of let go of that area and moisture has seeped in underneath the paint here and, and just kind of popped, started popping the paint off the fender there. So that needs a repair there. Um, and then we can see a bit of repair kind of down low here. This rocker is, is showing a little bit of rust. Um, if you check our underneath uh, still photos, it's not too bad underneath. There is a little bit of floor repair needed. Um, but, you know, not, not a horrible car for being a back east car. Um, there are a few little repairs underneath. You can you can view those in the still pictures. Let's look at the interior here. Interior is just kind of uh, I would call it maybe shabby chic. It is uh, it's decent. Seats are decent in vinyl. The driver's seat has a tear there. Um, amazingly, this is the original top boot in beautiful condition. Doors open and shut nicely. Um, original door panels, but you can see they need a bit of repair and help. They're starting to get, uh, the door cards are starting to warp a bit from moisture. Um, dash is, uh, it's, it's average. It's the wood dash. The steering wheel's an original Motolita, but the shellac is starting to go on the, uh, on the steering wheel there. Um, windshield looks good. Visors look nice. Um, this, this rubber is certainly shot, so we could probably use a new rubber around there with an insert. But uh, yeah, windshield overall looks good. That's been replaced at one point. It's not the original triplex, but it is a it is a replacement in good condition. So um, what else can I show you? Let's see. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the driver door panel. That's a little bit that fared a little bit better than the uh, the passenger side. 
Uh, carpets are the original loop style, which are correct. They've been changed at one point. You know, they're average. Um, this is the center console. All the gauges work, which is nice. I was driving it down the road and all that was functioning. So, um, but yeah, good, good door fit, good trunk and hood fit. You know, just, just kind of drive it as is. Great looking from 10, 15 feet. Actually like spectacular looking, you know, in, in our booth in the photos, it looks like a show car, but um, you know, up close you can see, see a few things that are going on with it. Um, let's look in the trunk here. Trunk looks all normal. It does need a trunk board. But uh, doesn't look like it's ever been smacked in the in the rear here. Usually, these start to wrinkle right here when you see this trauma to the the back of the car. You can see a very light push in here, just on these uh, these overriders. So it's got a, a very mild. Uh, there's a little crease there in the bumper, so you can see it's just had a very mild something where he's maybe backed into something. But uh, you know, tail light areas look nice and clean. Um, a little bit of surface rust going on, but um, you know, nothing really rusted through in the trunk here. So, but uh, yeah, so 4A solid axle, you know, they made these in the IRS version as well. This is a, a live axle car, does need a little bit of rust repair, but you know, if you're gonna just jump in this car and enjoy it, you can enjoy it for a few years without uh, without having to restore much, but uh, definitely the right color scheme. People just love, love, love these cars in British Racing Green. And I really like the 4A. I love, uh, you know, I love, I love the grill over the TR4. I really like these side lights. You know, they, they styling wise, they did a good job on these, uh, these chrome strips. I like this little, this little flare here with the brush marks. I mean, that's just really gorgeous how they, they updated the car. Um, prettiest part of the car is right there. It's that power bulge. It's just fantastic. And then uh, good hood fit. Yeah, Italian styled Triumph. Really, really pretty car. And uh, yeah, you can secure this one, drive it for a bit. Um, I would fit shocks first because, like I said, it, it does need a set of shocks, which are really cheap. Um, but you know, the, these cars are starting to get very sought after. We do sell a lot of these to France. The French love these cars for some reason. You know, they're very, very stylish 60s sports cars. And uh, the Italian style, and I think is gonna make these cars really desirable going forward. I mean, in my opinion, I think the TR4 may overtake the TR3 just because it's more appealing to a wider age group and the, the styling's more timeless than a side curtain car. But, but yeah, there you have it. I'm gonna stop rambling now and uh, end this video. But uh, yeah, you can view me driving this car, preceding this walk around. And uh, this is a 1967 Triumph TR4A live axle. It's finished in its original color of British racing green on black, 60 spoke chrome wire wheels in really good condition. And uh, best color, best strongest strongest uh, color combination with options on this car right now and it's for sale on our website it's a good driver and our website address is www.curttannermotorcars.com